Java. Importing a comma separated values file into a Java program and loading it into an array. Let's look on how we can take a Java uh, program and import a CSV file and make it an array and so we can manipulate that data. So just to give you an idea what that looks like here, here's a sample little CSV file and you'll notice here all the values are separated as with commas. So that's the CSV file, comma separated value file. And our goal is to bring it into our program and store it as an array in our Java program. So once it's an array, you, we can then manipulate the data. So I've set up a simple little function here to actually bring in that array. And I call it set up my uh, CSV array. So let's go look at the uh, function. We're going to pop up to it here. And I do want to point out here, i got a couple global variables going on here. The main one here for this is my array. We're actually going to make the array a global variable. So we're basically setting up a static double, and we've set it up here as a uh, two-dimensional array. So now let's step to the variables. So here's our function, and here's where we actually set up the array. We actually uh, instantiate it, bring it into memory. And in this example here, I'm bringing in here a using a scanner. Okay, so here's where you initialize the scanner. Okay, we've got a few variables to take care of rows and columns. Okay, and then we have this here, the string input. Okay, and I want to show you what we're going to do with that. So what we're going to do with that variable. That variable, our goal is to do this. We're going to sock import that row of data, okay, each row into one at a time into this variable, and then we're going to split it into a temporary array and then copy those contents into our my array. Okay, so that's the game plan. In, uh, import the lines one at a time into this variable, split contents out into an array, and then copy those into my array. All right, so a couple other variables we want to look at here. Uh, so here's a number array here, and here is a file location. So I'm going to store our actual file. This is where our file is located at. I'm going to store it to these, this variable. And now we're ready to begin. So let's go look at the code. And there's not a whole lot of uh, line, lines of code here that used to accomplish this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our scanner. Once again, it's new scanner. Okay, We're going to use the new buffered reader is our stream reader to, to supply the scanner. Now, where's the uh, uh, buffer reader getting its information from? From a file reader. Okay, so it's actually gonna, this is actually going to open up the file. So where's the file reader? What's the file reader need? File reader needs the location. The file reader is going to supply the buffer reader, which in turn uses the scanner. Okay. Um, can you use a new buffered reader separately by itself? Sure, and like we did in the other examples, yeah, you can use that. Um, sometimes the scanner has a, a couple of different methods that uh, we can use a little differently, and I'm going to show you those here in a second, but you as a programmer have choices. This is another tool you can put, in you, put into your tool bag on how to read a uh, file into your Java program. So, do you have to use a scanner? No. But for this example, uh, I'm going to give you a choice here by uh, showing you how you can use a scanner. So where the actual action takes place here is in the while statement right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do scan in. This is our scanner. Has next line. Okay. So basically what is happening here is this. When we open up that file, okay, the cursor 
okay there's a cursor for that file and it sits right there and it's looking so what the has next line is is hey do we have another line yes we do so that's true so now what we're going to do is we're going to take that line of code scan it in using the, the next line command okay just like we do with a normal scanner okay once it's in we can then use our split method okay so the string variables have the split method so we're going to say we're going to split it but what are we going to split it on the comma okay so what that do is going to do is going to look at the commas okay and wherever there's a comma it's going to turn that into a cell for the array which we're going to store here in in array okay so this line of command splits that into a five cell array that has the contents of that line in this array right here now we need to copy the stuff from this line to our main one so how are we going to do that we can do that with a for statement so we've got a counter going on of x okay look here here's our in array and we're using the dot length so that will have the value of five because it's the length of that array so we're going to come down in here and the first thing that we want to look at here is our first initial value uh, variable here was row that was that had the initial value of, of zero and the first element of our array is zero okay so basically we have this going on here one two three four and there's five okay and then we have our main array my array so the X okay this is position 0 1 2 3 4 okay matches up with these guys right here this is X okay 0 1 2 3 okay row our variable row C is keeping track of the rows X is keeping track of our columns okay so first of that initial variable here is zero zero right that's looking at the, the value of zero so it's going to take this contents of this box and put it here because that's the coordinate of zero zero now since this is a string okay and our array is a double we're going to parse this so we're going to say double parse to double which means we're going to take the contents of this box and save it as a double we hit the brace that's going to move our x to the next value it's going to move it to this box here okay so now that becomes one this becomes one so now we're at zero one which is this box here so we're going to take the contents out of this box and put it here hit the brace increments the counter okay so the counter is now at two okay so the contents that was in that box there now going into this box and we continue to do that until we eventually run it to the end of the row where uh, x eventually goes to 5 is 5 less than 5 no it's not it kicks us out of the brace we now come down to row C which is now going to move us to the, this one here which will then reset our different variables here so when we hit this brace here it takes us back to the while okay so the cursor is sitting here does it have enough another row yes it does so it takes us in here we're going to scan this row into that variable we're going to split it on the commas okay so now there are going to be twos in that in that temporary array that in array 
So these now have twos in them. Okay, so we come down into here, row column here now. Okay, is now at one. This is back to zero. This is at zero. So now we're at this coordinate here, right here, one, zero. Okay, and that'll put the two in here. Hit the brace, that increments the x, so x is now at one. So now we're at one, one. That'll put the two here. Here's the one, one, right? So the coordinate system is one, one. Okay, hit the brace. That goes to two, so we're at this here. Okay, two, one, copies it, and so forth. So we get to the end of the line. Eventually the, this gets to five. Is five less than five? No, it's not. So that kicks us out. The row indicator now goes to two. We can uh, repeat the process. We do it one more time. It goes to three. We repeat the process to eventually has next line is sitting right here. Is there a next line? Nope. We're out. So that's how you uh, import that data from a CSV file into an array. And our next uh, little thing in here, uh, our next little part of this uh, program here, I'll show you how you can automatically determine how many rows and columns. So that's how you can import a CSV file into your Java program.